Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem finding a centroid which is from tree algorithms category taken from CSES. So the problem is simple. You are given a tree and you have to find centroid of it. If there are multiple centroid, you can print any of them. Uh, a centroid is a node. If you remove that node, uh, the, the created connected component doesn't have size greater than n by 2 where n is the size of the tree what do i mean by that for example if i talk about this uh, if you remove this this would form a uh, connected component this would form a separate connected component and this would form a separate connected component right if you do not know about a uh, connected component you can go through uh, my um, graph algorithm series part one where i have explained that okay so all of these you can see this has size 2, this has size 1, and this has size 3, right? None of them have size greater than n by 2, where n is 7, right? So none of them have size greater than 3. So this is your centroid, okay? So the question is, how we'll find that? The answer to that is simple. And this question is also important. Uh, this thing is also important to learn because this will be used in centroid decomposition algorithm, which is uh, considered to be uh, advanced algorithm, okay? So how you uh, find out it well it's easy first of all for each first of all root the tree and for each node calculate the tree size of it so i'm assuming node 1 is the root and uh, so node 1 has subtree size 7 node 5 has subtree size like 5 node 6 has 3 and so on so first of all calculate subtree size of each node right how do you how do you do that or uh, you can do this in a single uh, dfs if you don't know how to do that i'll be putting the link in the description where i've already explained how to how you can calculate a uh, subtree size of each node okay now uh, after calculating subtree size of each node what you can do start from the root okay so i'm here and check for each children of it whether any of the children have sub subtree size greater than n by 2 so we check this this doesn't have subtree size greater than n by 2 which is 3 in this case because 7 by 2 3 right and we check for this child of course this is having size greater than 7 by 2 which is 3 right because our uh, subtree size of 5 as you can see is 5 which is greater than 3 so we would move on towards this why because this is containing more than n by 2 elements so centroid must be in this subtree so we would move on there now we are at 5 so we do this again so all of the child and only the child we don't have to check the parent because we have came from that place and we know the centroid exists here not uh, not in that side right so you have to again traverse all of the child of this node so 7 we check for 7 subtree size of 7 is 1 less which is less than equals to 3 so that's good uh, we go for 6 again subtree size is less than equals to 3 because subtree size of 6 is 3 so that's good as well so none of the child of node 5 have subtree size greater than n by 2 that means it this node if you remove this node the subtree that uh, the connected component that will form will not have size greater than n by 2 and hence this is your centroid so if i show you the code of here is this code what you do you first of all read the whole tree okay after that you calculate subtree size of each node this is this is a single dfs which will calculate subtree size of each node after that what we do we would make dfs call to centroid function this is basically a dfs named only centroid okay so what we are doing for each child and only for child this is parent of current node so we are not checking for parent only for child uh, in the adjacency list of current node we are checking for all node that are directly connected and for child we are checking if it's subtree size greater than n by 2 if it's subtree size greater than n by 2 then we will move on towards that node right so we'd make a recursive dfs call to that node and ask him hey uh, tell me who is uh, centroid in your subtree right so it, this would return centroid and we will return directly from here we won't reach this node I mean this code okay if none of the children have subtree size greater than n by 2 of course we won't make any recursive call and that means our current node itself is the centroid and that is why we are returning from here our current node because this is the centroid so yeah this is pretty much about it if you have any doubt or query uh, you can ask in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you